Alright, what's up guys? We are back for a brand new fucking Blu-ray video. We're going to Blu-ray update for the month of February, but also January. I didn't do one. Pretty much, I bought all of my movies around the late January, early February thing, and I was like, oh, not really getting a lot. No, I won't do a January one. I'll push it all to February, but then I didn't really get any heaps in February, so I was like, all right. There's a few. It's probably like a normal month for me, but I just didn't go really hard. I was waiting for a few deals and a few like eBay bids that didn't, you know, went to way too fucking high. I'm like, nah, not buying that. But I do have a few. I'm gonna go quickly go through them. We got a DVD to start us off. As I always start off with a shitty DVD. Just like heaven. Apologies with the glare already. I'm gonna say that uh, from the get go. But this movie, I for some reason really enjoyed. I really like Reese with a spoon, and I was like, yeah, you know what? It's like four bucks. I'm gonna fucking buy it. Um, the next one I have not seen and I really have to see this movie. Um, it's been on my Netflix watch list for like a fucking year and I'm like, I'll just buy the Blu-ray. We'll fucking watch it eventually. And that is Catch Me If You Can with DiCaprio and Hanks. I mean, all-star fucking cast. You can't possibly go wrong, can you? Moving on. We got one. Shout out to my boy Ninja Movies. If you're watching, he'd love this. Uh, Clerks. This is, uh, Kevin Smith, uh, directorial uh, debut, actually. I didn't realize it was a debut. I was going to say director or debut as a joke, but it actually is his director or debut. It says on the back. I have not seen this film. I know Ninch loves Kevin Smith's, uh, Kevin Smith's work. Looking forward to seeing this one. I think this is one of his better ones. Um, it's kind of hit or miss for a lot of people, so I'm excited to watch that one. Um, and I actually like Kevin Smith. I listen to his podcast and stuff, so I, I like him from like a personality sense, so I'd, I'd like to see more of his directorial stuff. Uh, the next one that if you watch my full uh, Blu-ray collection video you have already seen this because I bought this very very early I'm like the second of fucking January or something I was mad I wanted for my December to be reviewed but we have got Incredibles 2 the steelbook um no title on there which kind of sucks I really would have liked a title somewhere on here but it's got the big symbol so I guess you get it kind of a old school spy look which is what the movies kind of go for um really cool and at least it's got the name on the spine which some of the fucking Disney Blu-rays or uh steelbooks don't necessarily have um, another, another one with basically the same problem, uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I actually thought I bought this movie on Blu-ray like a month before, but then I thought, I actually bought the first one twice, so, ended up getting the Blu-ray, of uh, the still book, it's got blue on the front there with some dope fucking art, which is cool, um, and then some more fucking art on the back, great art, but I really, I you need the title on the front to me, but again, at least it's on the spine, um, I like the, uh, dope part's always cool, but I really need that fucking, I want the title there. Um, next one we got, National Lampoon's Vacation. I'm a big fan of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, so I'm sure this would be no exception. Um, 30th anniversary edition, so obviously I'm very late to the fucking book, but there's another one. Um, a Blu-ray steelbook that I, it was in my, like, it was in my watching list for like fucking six months on eBay and then just kept no one buying it so it just kept getting relisted and relisted and I was like nine bucks. I'm like fuck it. I'm going to buy this and it's a paranormal activity still look. Uh, this is bullshit. They should never have the Blu-ray fucking thing on a still book but that shows how early this movie was. Um, this is like 2008 something so this might be one of the first like big Blu-ray still books out there but dope enough art on the back. Um, got the name at least, and that's got a fucking slogan, that's actually embossed it there, you can feel that, um, but I actually did enjoy that first Paranormal Activity uh, movie, I thought it was a kind of nice change, and then people tried to inter imitate it, and even they tried to imitate it with all their sequels, but nonetheless, a movie that I bought basically for one of my favorite actresses, Anna Kendrick, and that is Rapture Palooza, he's the, he's the Antichrist, by the way, I just thought I put that out there, I didn't know that, I don't know what I was really watching to be honest, and I don't make it seem like that with he's wearing a red suit, but I didn't even think about that, and I was like, oh, it's a fucking rapture movie, and you know, Craig Robinson's the fucking devil basically, so, <laughs> you know, that's there, I had a, I actually did watch this, I didn't think I'd be watching this for a while, but I was like, you know what, let's fucking watch this, I had a laugh, but it's kind of, it's kind of not great, but I love Anna Kendrick, so that made bearable. Uh, the next one is the original Tron. I have not seen this movie in forever. I want to re-watch uh, re re -watch this movie. I got the special edition. Another just cheap Blu-ray. Um, oh, basically as well, I forgot to tell you about the deals. Deals, deals, deals. I got the uh, steelbooks off eBay, as I do. But I actually got... It was, what was the deal? I think it was a... It was a 3 for 20 Blu-ray, which is why they're kind of all on like the not greatest hits Blu-ray. Um... 
three for 20 on JB Hi-Fi with a 20% off on that weekend. So it ended up being three for 16 or, you know, basically $5 a flick. So I was like, all right. And I got six of them. So I was like, five bar Blu-rays. That's why some of the ones that I was necessarily not going out to find, like Rapture Palooza, um, you know, Kirk's and this, uh, Clerks and this one is why I picked them up. And this is when in Rome, another guilty ass pleasure. I watched this one day with on a whim. Mum started watching it and I was like, what's this? Then I started to laugh. You know, it's it's this, you know. That's it, guys. I think you guys were watching a bit of a short one there. I think I only had, you know, 10 or so titles for two months, which is not the best. But I'm trying to not, not cut down, but I'm just trying to make sure I'm not spending money on... I don't like spending money on new releases. And then I usually have been getting this... I have this great guy on eBay that does, like, new release bundles. Like, six movies, eight movies, five movies, whatever... I think his channel's been a bit more discovered because people are almost paying nearly full price that they would be able to get from like JB Hi-Fi anyway. And I'm like, yo, before I can get some of these new release Blu-rays for like $10, $15, now I'm like half paid at least $20, $25. And I'm like, you can go and get it for JB for $30. Just wait for fucking 20% off you're paying $24. Like, it sucks, but eventually I'm going to get one. We'll get some new releases in there. But I'm always keeping my eye on the Steelbooks because the Steelbooks can, you know be high priced and then completely disappear as I found out by like Avengers Infinity War and shit like that. And then... One of those days I'm going to get that movie, but I'm rambling on too much. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my uh, review of Captain Marvel, which comes out tomorrow. Uh, or if you're watching this a couple of days late, it'll be up. So check that out. As well as my full Blu-ray collections, always out there for this year. So check that one out. Other than my channel, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, comment, but of course, have a good one. I just realized I went to end without doing my classic show of the hole for my thumbnail. So I can't do that, guys, because I'm too lazy. Taking a separate picture. There it is. Uh, that there what's up guys that is all thank you guys for watching and thinking the video is ending but not now it actually is going to end right now